Come check out the Rebel expansions for Star Wars Legion. I can bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rod Bear with you today, taking a look at these super awesome miniature kits. Now, this is the new Star Wars Legion, and these are the two Rebel expansions besides the big air speeder, which we're going to do in a separate one. But these ones we have already looked at, mostly familiar with them, and have put them together and have some semi-painted versions to show you all today. This is going to be an unbox and build. Now, the ATRT expansion is $24.95 along with the Rebel Troopers. You get one model, well, two models if you count the rider, in the ATRT, and you get seven in the Rebel Troopers. Now, this is going to be very similar to the Stormtrooper build. If you've already checked that unboxing video out, there's seven minis in here. You get one of the unit cards, five upgrade cards, your tokens, and your rule sheet for this. And, of course, your activation marker as well. Same over here. You're going to get an activation marker, three unique weapon options with slot in with a little, uh, I think it's a hexagonal base. I have to double check that. Plastic miniature, the unit card, upgrade cards, tokens, and a rule sheet as well. Once we open up the box, there isn't actually too much to this one, but we'll get it all sorted out for you. I like how they had a tray in here. We saw that with the starter set for the very first time uh, from FFG. I think that's what most people that have already checked out the starter that we have has been uh, thought was the most remarkable thing was that there was an insert inside the starter. So component-wise, you get the one unit card right here. You're gonna get your five upgrade cards, your little punch-outs here with your aim, your um, dodge, then you got, it looks like, some wound markers, your order activation, and your vehicle damage counters right there. Mm, it's kinda cool. Uh, their base that it's gonna come with, remember the movement tool locks in, and it's gonna actually restrict the movement quite a bit on this thing for the fire arc, which uh, we've run into a couple times with the game. That's been an interesting conundrum, <laughs> like how to assault in on people and, and things like that, because this is actually pretty pretty decent in in hand-to-hand -hand combat right there with its uh, three, count them, three red dice. That's half as many as Vader and all that comes with the starter itself. So, uh, but it does, it does work. Now, for the demo game that you probably going to play here in the near future, it does feature the laser cannon at range four. I haven't seen anything else in the starter set that has a range four. It's going to have the impact, so that's going to do damage to armor, but really that doesn't matter in the starter. Fixed front, but it's going to throw out one red and uh, two black dice. It's pretty powerful. It's a 35 point upgrade, so I guess it should be. And then there's the other two blasters that come with it. Fixed front on um, both. This is blast ignore cover, so you're not going to get those barricade hard points. It kind of makes sense because it is a flamethrower, right? And then the other two upgrade cards that come in here are the comms jammer and the long range comm link, which I actually think comes with the, the speeder bunks as well. Now, as far as special abilities, you can see them listed right here. It's got six wounds. I think this is something to do with leadership. I haven't played anything more than demo game, but we'll get there. Don't you worry. And it does have impact. So what's, <laughs> what's really cool is this is going to push through against armor with at least one damage while uh, it has armor itself. So it's going to cancel all hits. So unless you're doing crits or have some mechanic to do crits, which like impact or like pierce, I believe, then uh, this guy's just going to run rampant and do murder shuffles all over <laughs> the Imperial forces, which tends to happen in the starter if you don't if you don't deal with him. Uh, as far as the parts go, you can kind of see right here how he goes together. Here's the little instruction booklet. Try to get some glare out of that for you. But all the pieces lock in right here. The Now remember, you have to use glue. This I mean, this is push fit, but you should use glue for the most part. You're going to have the rider. He's going to lock in with uh he's gonna have a gun or um actually this one doesn't have the gun huh i did not notice that until just now this is different from the one that comes in the starter it doesn't have the gun he isn't holding the gun huh okay well that's cool so they made a variant for the starter that's neat and you got your pistons you got your antenna and i thought the antenna would have broken off by now but it turns out mine's still on i don't i don't know how i beat the odds but i did um to put it together like i said it's it's actually pretty simple you just push fit and now there's a hemispherical uh, doodad right there and it's gonna lock in this the certain way that it's uh, supposed to go remember to trim off all your flash 
But once you just kind of start building it just like that, it really goes together quite easily. You should use glue, but to just get up and running and, and play with this stuff. Now, this one is a little bit more of the soft plastic style that we saw with uh, Rune Wars, but not quite the re most more ridiculous side of it. I think it's a better quality plastic overall, more akin to some of the stuff that comes uh, in Privateer. And then the right your rider goes on right here. You put the antenna on the back, and you can slot in these weapons here. What is this? This is a oh, I guess it's a hemispherical kind of uh, slot thing right there. I thought the one that came in the starter was a little different. But if you do this right and you glue it in, you should just be able to slot this piece in here, and you can switch them out uh, for whichever. This one seems to be having it. Having trouble. Maybe I just put ah. Well, anyways, when you put it together, you just want to glue it right here so that you can still slide everything up into there. But other than that, um, it's really easy to put together. Here's an example. Now, this is just base coated. We haven't got, gone all the way with this one. And like I was saying, the one that comes in the starter does have a gun there. But this is, uh, and then we've got the desert base right there. So we just used our primer, switched out with the weapons. And like I said, they just. Depending on which upgrade you want, you just pull it down or or push fit it back up into there, and it's it's good to go. And the antenna on the back has actually stayed put, so I've been uh, I've been very impressed with that one. So that is the ATRT, and as far as costs go, you're looking at 55 plus your upgrades on uh, your weapons right there. Next up is the Rebel Troopers. These guys, like I said, come with seven duders actually. There are some ladies in here as well, and you're going to get all of the upgrade cards that you need. No insert tray in here, just instructions and the models themselves as well as bases. Not too many goodies that come in here. You got your upgrade cards, your normal card, uh, your tokens right here. Of course, you've got an aim, a dodge, you've got suppression tokens right here, three of those. A panic token, ion token, and a standby token, as well as your order uh, card, which oh, those are pretty cool. I mean, you need the order card in order to play. Rebel Troopers themselves, there's four to a squad for 40 points. Their blaster rifle is ranged up to range three for one black dice. Pretty decent unarmed, also one black dice. So are the stormtroopers, except for stormtroopers, a little bit harder to hit. They're one white dice to attack. Both are white dice to defend, one health and one panic with the surge ability of a dodge on there and then they've got the nimble ability which is pretty good if you spend uh one or more dodge tokens you gain a dodge token back and no ability on the back of the card rebel trooper upgrades overall so you've got the z6 gatling trooper which is six of those white dice which we saw in the preview there recently one rebel you can add one rebel trooper for 10 points here the ion trooper is impact one attacking a unit that has armor change up to one hit to a crit pretty cool to see that gets through armor pretty well and ion one a vehicle wounded by an attack that also that includes this weapon gains one ion token dun 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 32 points for that shoots two red at a range of three and impact grenades, if you chuck them at something with armor at a range of one for one black dice, you can get those crits through, hopefully. And grappling hooks, you gain expert climber ability. Do not roll defense dice or suffer wounds. Now, if you're playing in just the normal intro game, you don't have to worry about any of that. Barricades don't count. Now, for putting these guys together, they're actually pretty easy. Just two parts there, just like you see. Well, some of them are have three, just like you see there. They come with a base that you can glue them down to, but for the most part, it's just left and right hands uh, already together, and they just kind of slot in. Now, they're a little bit harder, more harder plastic than the Rune War stuff we saw. You're going to want to make sure, I mean, if you're just push fitting it, just have fun with it, that's cool, but overall, you're probably going to want to push them together and glue them down, make sure you get a nice solid fit in there, and then any little wonkiness, you can use a hair dryer and then run it under some cold water in order to straighten those gun barrels and things out and then glue it down to this. Uh, we have a couple tutorials on how to base your models using um, a desert kind of scheme. 
that are here on the channel, so check those out. They're in all of the painting tutorials because we painted all of them with desert bases. Here's some base coated minis before we washed them and started detailing them out again in our tutorials that are here on the channel on how to paint rebel troopers. There you can see the sergeant and the Gatling gun and the finished rebel trooper. We have right here an example of our finished rebel trooper with all the detail work after being washed and layered and desert based and desert tough and the lip of the base all painted. This guy's looking fresh. Imagine how a whole squad of these guys would look on the table running across Gat Gatton at the Imperial. So um, I love this hobby so far. <laughs> Getting them all put together and painted up has been uh, a super fun treat for me. So make sure you check out those tutorials here on the channel. So that's pretty much it for this unboxing and build of the Rebel Troopers expansion and the ATRT Walker for the Rebel Troopers as well. I hope you enjoyed these features here on this channel. Make sure you check out the other videos we have on here from how to paint Rebels and Stormtroopers to other unboxings and of course a how to play video on Star Wars Legion as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.